आर बायर्स गेटिंग बार्गेन पावर टू परचेज इन वन ऑफ द मोस्ट एक्सपेंसिव प्लेस इन ग्रेटर टोरोनो एरिया स्टे ट्यून्ड इन टूडेज वीडियो टू सी वट वी हैव इन इन दिस वीडियो आई एम आशीष शर्मा योर रियलटी विद राइट एट होम रियलटी ब्रोकरेज इन टूडेज वीडियो वी गना डिस्कस मार्केट अपडेट्स फॉर हॉल्टन रीजन विच हैज बर्लिंगटन हॉल्टन हिल्स मिल्टन एंड ऑकविल एंड वी विल डिस्कलोज वॉट इज हैपनिंग विद द नंबर एंड आर बायर्स गेटिंग द बार्गेन पावर टू बार्गेन द राइट प्रॉपर्टीज एट राइट प्राइस इन वन ऑफ द मोस्ट एक्सपेंसिव प्लेस इन ग्रेट ट्रॉनो एरिया लेट्स अनलॉक रियल स्टेट ओके सो वील स्टार्ट विद द बर्लिंगटन टू स्टार्ट द मार्केट अपडेट्स फॉर द हॉल्टन रीजन एंड वी विल स्टे ट्यून इन दिस वीडियो टू नो which city i am referring to uh, regarding the mo- one of the most expensive or city or area you can say most expensive area and our buyers getting the bargain power over there but let's start with the burlington and burlington is not that one so the number of uh, let's start with the average price uh, for the month of december 2022 in the city of burlington so the average price dropped uh, uh, around 14% year over year in the month of december and the number of sales also took a deep dive by like 30.9% decline in year over year and uh, if we jump over here right on the uh, average price for the last 12 month average uh, as you can see the last 12 month trend the last month technically which which i mean by last month is like november reporting month of november 2022 kind of hit the bottom and the prices are going up from there like this month december was up from the november months and there was an increase of 10.9% month over month yes you heard it right the prices increased 10.9% month over month in the city of burlington for the month of december 2022 and the overall for the last 12 month trailing average is uh, hovering around 1.19 million in the city of burlington and uh, this is a very interesting graph where we have we talk about month of inventory and the days on market because this plays a huge role because days on market let me explain uh, take a, a 30 second over here and explain why this plays a huge role because days on market defines how much time a property is taking to sell in city of burlington in particular month the more the days of market more the bargaining power you have as a buyer but i will disclose the city or area which has that bargain power but in this case burlington does have it but the one of the, its burlington is not one of the most expensive places in greater toronto area so let's uh, jump on the december number over here for the city of burlington currently in city of burlington the days on market is third sitting as 31 days that is the highest in last 12 months for sure buyers should seek uh, uh, some discounts on the property whatever they are listed for or do some proper due diligence and if you are not looking uh, working with any realtor reach out to me reach out to me in the number provided in the next screen or in the description below so that we can have a strategy call uh, and get you the best of the of the best property and the best deal and the right now the m- month of inventory is sitting around 3 months which is which means that it will take 3 months to de- deplish all the inventory which we have in city of burlington now let's jump on the next area in the halton region which is halton hills and let's talk about the average price over here the halton hill average price declined 14.1% year over year last year of this time in the month of december it was sitting around 1.27 million and right now in this year 2022 it is sitting around for the month of december 1.09 million and we have saw a decline of 14.1% year over year and the number of sales also got declined by 9.5% if you see the pattern like for the last 10 year now it it is kind of making sense like for the number of sales in halton region and things are coming back to the normal as you can see 2020 was one of the off uh, year where the sales got hit big time because all the people flew out of toronto or like other areas and moving in the uh, uh, suburbs right so as you can see the things are coming back to the normal so i hope like prices will settle down soon as well and uh, very few transaction happened majority of the transaction were detached properties in halton hills 
and let's talk about the average price for the last 12 months as you can see like in this case as well like Halton Hill is trying to find the bottom for the last uh, four ish month and uh, it kind of like hit the bottom as of uh, if we just compare the data of last 12 months in the month of October and currently the price is sitting like uh, we are seeing an increase of 2.3 percent from the month of November and uh, and in Halton Hills right now uh, 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 days on market is sitting around the same time as of Burlington which is 31 days and the month of inventory is around 2.6 and this is also not the uh, area which is uh, which bar uh, which buyers has the uh, most bargain power in the most expensive place in Credit Toronto area. Now let's talk about Milton. And uh, uh, let's start with the average price over here in the case of Milton as well. Like average price dropped by 12.3 percent year over year. And can you see the sharp decline in the number of sale? Like number of sale literally declined by like. 45.8 percent year over year and now i think it's the most uh, uh, lowest number of sales in last 10 years in the month of december for town of milton and uh, uh, technically i would say like this is the first month after a couple of months where there is one transaction of link property at 1.1 million average price now let's talk about the average price for the last 12 months for town of Milton and uh, it is kind of like in the downward trends from the last month for the month of November and there is a decline of around 0.9% month over month. For sure like uh, uh, Milton and Hol uh, Burlington and Halton Hills are not hitting the bottom right now in the month of December. It's kind of like uh, trying to find like uh, the bottom has might have already touched in these area but let's look into what we have in play it in future coming months and if we talk about the days on market this is insane in case of like Milton because Milton is seeing the highest right now like 35 days in overall in Halton region so if you are planning to uh, planning to move to Halton region which has Burlington Halton Hill Milton and Oakville for sure consider Milton because you might have a good bargaining power over there as a, if you are a buyer because properties are sitting there for longer time though month of inventory is very less which is which is another indicator that you might not able to bargain that much which you would hope but still properties are taking longer time to sell so have have a proper strategy if you are planning to buy in milton or reach out to me happy to help you and get you the best out of the best deal whatever is possible now whatever you were waiting for let's jump on that and the town called oakville oakville is seeing the most bargain power if we just see with the technical stats and the data as one of the most expensive places in greater toronto area it comes after the king city sorry township of king and town of oakville is the second most expensive places in greater toronto area as of december 2022 and as of year till date of december 2020 year till date means from january to december of 2022 let's talk about uh, uh, the average price first what is happening over here so average price declined by like 6.2 percent year over year and number of sale also took a deep dive over here uh, uh, around 44.6 percent year over year decline and majority of transactions were detached property and detached properties are currently sitting around 1.82 million and there were zero link transaction in the month of december in town of oakville now uh, if we compare the price over here the prices actually went up in the month of december so it's it can be tricky in this point that whether you will really have that bargain power or not but you really need to have a good strategy to uh, if you are planning to buy in these areas so uh, if we compare with the number of, uh, as of november to december number the price is average price is up around 3.7 percent month over month 3.7 percent yes and currently it's sitting around 1.45 million for the month of december now this is the interesting part why i said that it could be a possibility that buyers might have a good bargain power to purchase a house in one of the most expensive places in Greater Toronto area because of these facts let's talk about the let's uh, look at over here these are the last 12 months pattern 
for month of inventory and average days on market. As you can see, the month of inventory is at highest level, 3.8, and the uh, 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 days on market is also sitting at 31 days. So technically, there are a lot of properties in the in town of Oakville for sale, and it is taking much longer time to sell. And at the same time, the new listings are coming in more and more. So you might have the upper hand as a buyer to bargain in, bargain properly with the seller. And for that, you need to have a proper strategy to need to know the area and need to know the property types so that you should put the best out of the best offer in those property. And you might get a deals out of like some properties in uh, town of Oakville. But again, I'm saying you need to have a proper strategy for that. And uh, have to uh, if you are looking to buy right now in the uh, town of Oakville and town of Oakville is always uh, like uh, as in previous uh, months also I have shown the video and uh, like town of Oakville always proved to be like the one of the most expensive places in uh, greater Toronto area and the growth rate is also really good over here and currently this town is sitting around the most highest I would say month of inventory out of Halton region and the 31 days days on market the same as of Burlington and Milton though Halton Hill is seeing around 35 days but this could be a possibility if you are aiming to live in Oakville to have a proper strategy and look into the properties so you might get a good deal over there so again I'm saying that in this market market has already shifted this is for sure the buyers market and buy like it could be like sellers might be like stubborn in that case that they don't want to sell the property for less but numbers speak itself and if you are buying give me a call i would uh, or i would be have, give me a call on the number provided or the uh, you can directly schedule a call on the link uh, in my video description and uh, reach out to me because we can have a good strategy according to your needs according to your budget and what the best property you can find in today's market right and if you're thinking of selling pricing the right property is very important and the why i'm stressing on this thing because the reason the properties are taking much longer time to sell because it could be a possibility they the property price is x and they might be listing at 1.1 x obviously in today's market people buyer has the upper hand and they will come to know right away that the uh, uh, that the property is listed at higher price if they are working on the right realtor so you need to pr price the property really well to track the buyers right and according to the current market condition so if you are selling give me a call i would be happy to assist you to have a proper strategy so that you can make the best out of your buck and get the best uh, deal out of that so and if you are investing rents are going up there's always a time to like the strategy all depend upon your needs so i'm always there to help you and happy to help you to and assist you and as i always say keep on learning keep on hustling keep on growing until next time have a good one